Hey guys, it's Richard of the Fishonado channel and today we're going to ACI Aquaculture. How you doing, man? Doing well, buddy. Thanks for coming up. It's always a pleasure coming here. Chris is such a wonderful guy in the hobby. He does so, so many things that right. I have only known Chris for so like just very short period of time. And three we years? Had, some, two or three or something like that. Three. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and we've become so close because you know he has his so much passion for the hobby and for the industry. And I think a lot of people should, you know, take this to heart and be more like Chris in that aspect. With that said, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about ACI Aquaculture and some of the stuff that he has seen over the years in the hobby. Chris, so tell me a little bit about ACI Aquaculture. How did it start? ACI started in 2007 and I had my own shop at one point and I worked at Tire Kingdom and my daughter went into the hospital and my boss at Tire Kingdom told me that I couldn't go visit my daughter. I had to be at work and I told him to go fly a kite. And um, that was the end of my, uh, my reign at Tire Kingdom. And then um, it was about three months later, I had no idea what I was gonna do with my life. And uh, I got this harebrained idea that I was gonna buy, uh, borrow $10,000 from Discover Card and start up this uh, business that we call ACI Aquaculture today. Wow. Um, ACI stands for Amanda, Chris, and Isabel. That is my wife, myself, and my daughter, Isabel. So that's basically the beginning there. Mm -hmm. We started it in January. I incorporated in on May 23rd, and uh, here we are today, 11 years and a few months later. Tell me what kind of aquaculturing you do in this place. We do a lot of different types of aquaculture when it comes to you know, different types of coral, per se. Not, mm -hmm. Maybe not maybe a, a lot of different types of aquaculture, but mainly we do corals. We started the company and named it ACI Aquaculture because I was a little naive about how fast corals grew. You know, I did know from personal experience from having aquariums, but I was basically focusing on sticks, acros. Everybody loves acros and right. acros grow quite quickly and I thought that I could make a, a real business out of just growing out acroporus and came to learn uh, very quickly that if you want to do an aquaculture facility, you need to, you know, there's a lot that's involved with it and sure. just a small 300 gallon system like I had when I started the company just wasn't going to work. So we, we evolved from there to 12 foot by 4 foot tanks mm -hmm. and we had a small area that was aquaculture and we had ended up adding three 8 by 4 tanks and we started importing corals. You know, that's the basics for us, you know, we, we started importing when my wife got laid off mm -hmm. and it worked. I mean, we yeah. expanded in our garage. Yes, we were a garage operation. We had a 400 square foot facility and we did an amazing amount of coral movement out of there. Quick question, for just to put it in perspective, you started from 300 gallon tank. Yeah. How many, how many gallons of water do you have in this facility <laughs> now? Evolution, we started with 300 gallons and we strictly did acropores. Mm -hmm. Then we moved into, it was about a thousand, maybe 1200 gallons. Mm -hmm. And we started, I started buying from LA okay. and buying a lot of Australian corals and fragging them and you know I don't know if we were the first but we very well could have been one of the first companies that were wholesaling frags mm -hmm. to retail stores because nobody was nobody was doing it that I knew of and all yeah. the stores that were were buying from us were like yo this is amazing this is awesome you know we yeah. got tons of support mm -hmm. which helped us grow and then of course we never stopped fragging corals and, you know, my goal for ACI Aquaculture was to really be a true aquaculture facility and actually have lineage named corals that were grown 100% here at ACI, and we have that now. Yeah. And it, it, it takes time. Right. And, and if you don't have the dedication, the passion, and the love, yeah. it, it's going to be really hard for anybody to do it because it's not cheap. <laughs> Let me ask you this question. Um, 
how many, um, you know, per, per average, let's say, how many frags, aquaculture frags, do you put out a year? So when it comes down to what we actually truly aquaculture, it all depends on what we actually are, you know, aquaculturing and what species are out there. You know, you have different growth uh, for every type of coral. Montes, I mean, Montiporas are probably one of the fastest growing, and we sell a lot of them. We started off with 10 frags of each of our lineage Mm -hmm. uh, aquaculture Montes and right. over the last three years I mean we it, it's hard to say I mean we sell 3,000 5,000 I haven't run the numbers my wife would have to be the one to do that but when you're talking about acros mm -hmm. we really haven't had any real lineage acros except for some of the stuff that we've gotten from um, you know ORA uh, and ORA Sea and World, sea World and right. places like that that is you know been aquaculture for years you know, we release, you know, 50, 60 frags a month of the uh, ORA, blue, or ORA Blue Tort or whatever it is, the Oregon Tort, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I'm not good with the names. It's bright green with bright blue tips. Yeah. All I know. Um, and we, we triple them in with our regular um, acro frags, even though we don't market them as what they are. Mm -hmm. um, we do chop shop acro frags, and that gets mixed in there. But So basically, when, when you want to... You know, LPS corals, such as say, you know, frog spawns, hammers, um, torches. Very few of them that we actually aquaculture and release out into the market because we just don't have a big enough facility to grow them in the numbers that we want to. Then you talk about Fabia, Fabites, um, Samacoras, and stuff like that. You know, I, we'd be upwards of probably maybe eight to ten thousand frags a year, and that's just doing a guess. You yeah. Know? And. That's a truly aquacultured corals here in ACI. And then when you go to zoanthids, you're talking about, you know, hundreds a month right. you know, of just single polyp zoanthid frags that we release. Gotcha. But we've got a lot and yeah. you've seen it in the back. Right, yeah, I know you guys. I was totally amazed when I first came in and saw this facility first time. It was just like thousands and thousands of frags in the back. And he told me this this area is off limit to the people, but you get to see it. And I just drooled over there. I think salinity changed a little bit after I left because I drooled so much. <laughs> it was it was I was like at the candy store. It was like a kid in the Christmas day. You know, it was, it was just incredible. All right, guys, this is a little uh, story of ACI, and I hope you guys now understand why I enjoy this trip so much. I mean, it is four hours to come up here and four hours to drive down, but you know, I I enjoy this trip so much. It's it's worth it every single time. This is getting a lot, you know, this facility is actually pretty large. How many facilities have you? Hey, boy. <laughs> Let's turn off the volume. <laughs> It's like the this is gonna all go into the bloopers in the end, you know. <laughs> that works. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You sure? Okay. Uh, uh, right. Mute that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a it's like a two dollar. Better mute mine because you never know if it's gonna ring in the middle of a good oh, a, a oh, good yeah. set. No, no. When when he's first like first time when he rang, I was like, oh shoot, let me turn off mine. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Um, I now I hope you guys see why you guys you know you guys. Uh, All right, guys. Now, oh my God, I'm just lost for words right now. I need a more. I need one more beer or something. I, need too. I still haven't finished the ACI. I still 